Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by the title, I am doing a reading vlog again because that seems to be the only things I do on this channel, I guess. And, you know, I don't know. I just don't even know what else to do. Um, I will come out with the occasional book recommendations, but you know, it is what it is. But today I am doing a reading vlog and I just like need to hop into another book after the book I just finished. That ending, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't even talk about it. I really can't. Um, I really can't. Like you can't talk about that book without spoiling stuff. So I'm just not, but that ending was crazy. And I was like, last night, I was like, you know what? She was staring at me. Okay, the spine of the book was staring at me. And I was just like, this is, I know this is sci-fi, but like, I don't know, it gives me high fantasy vibes. Honestly, I've heard about this book and I've heard like other people give the synopsis of it, but I completely, I always forget the synopsis of this book other that it's like sci-fi and I think they're in space. I don't know. It sounds kind of like the 100 vibes. And so I was like, okay, new world. I just need to like hop into something. And I believe the it's a trilogy, I think. And it's like already complete, okay? Because right now, like I really can't deal with the fact that I have to wait another year for <laughs> the final book to other series coming out. Like it hurts, it really does. And so it's just something about complete series that it's just like, okay, at least I know if I wanna continue, I can, I can finish you faster. Uh, this is my first Brandon Sanderson book and it's YA. I don't know, the way people talk about Brandon Sanderson, I feel like the perfect way to be introduced to his writing is a YA book. And yeah, I love um, like the feel of this book too. The words, like they pop out and like have texture. And then I love when covers have like a velvety feel. I love it so much. It just like looks like a lot is going on and it's sticky right here because I got this from Books A Million on a bargain deal and when I took off the sticker like it just left it sticky which bothers me but you know what it's just gonna have to do I got this book for like three dollars so it's a win for me because it's like literally in brand new condition and I got it for three dollars defiance is survival that's all I'm gonna read and I think her name is Spensa or something so yeah I feel like I've been talking a lot but um I'm basically hopping into this book blind though because I don't really want to remember what the synopsis is I just kind of want to hop into it and be like oh you know so let's see for Karen Alstrom who counts all the days that I forget it's oh my god we got a map oh this is different I've never seen a map in a book like this it, it looks like a game, like a game map. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, let's hop into it. Ciao. I knew at the end of that prologue her dad was going to die. I knew it. I knew it. Because every main character needs a dead parent or two. So, yeah. I'm on chapter two now.
now raining outside like it's dark gray clouds pouring just pouring down outside so the lighting is really bad and i have to be quiet because sound really travels in my house and um my dad is working he's on the phone so we're gonna make this a quiet little haul but i have two books the first book is uh pan's labyrinth i saw this like in the section where usually they put majority paperbacks and i was just like "Ooh, what is this like it looks it looks intriguing and i read the back and it's like uh full of short stories and it has like some illustrations in it and so i was just like "Ooh, it looks like it's a pretty short book and it just looked interesting and i was like you know what like i really want this i was gonna buy more books but i was like you know what let me not break the bank um let me just stick with two for now next book i got is blood marked and i'm so excited i'm so excited to read this i really am i don't know if i want to reread legend born first I don't know if I want to reread the first book or just look up a like summary synopsis of the first book so that I can remember things and then hop into this one. I heard this book was really action packed and um, I'm just like thinking of the first book and like I loved the whole like trials thing where like they had to compete and stuff like it was so fun and entertaining and there was cringy moments and it was just so enjoyable and i low-key want to go back to reread that but it was like a really long book and this book is thick too and i'm just like i don't know if i want to reread it or what i don't know i really don't because i'm not like a super fast reader so i don't know how fast i would get through legend born plus legend born like the print yeah it's like tiny print like it's a thick book i'm like do i really want to go back and reread the first book i don't i don't know these this is my little book haul um i'm gonna have to kind of rearrange my shelves a little bit because i would like to put this on my shelf but it's like my shelf is really tiny so i don't know i don't know i have like i have two wall shelves a bookshelf and then I have a stack of books at the end of my bed so like it's just it's a lot there was a few other books I wanted to buy too like for instance before the coffee gets cold but it was too expensive for it to be such a tiny and short book and so I was just like you know what no and then I also wanted to buy I want to buy the sequel to Six Crimson Cranes and I saw the hardcover and it looked tempting but I've been waiting for the paperback and I was in the store and I checked Amazon and they finally came out with the matching paperback for it and it's cheaper so I'm gonna get the paperback. There was also another book I wanted to buy which was like a Disney twisted retelling retelling of Princess and the Frog but I was just like it's too it's too expensive like this is gonna be the most expensive book that I've bought today and I was just like I'm not a big fan of buying books for $20 I'll just wait another time hi so it is December 5th and I am a good chunk of ways through Skyward I am on page 232 like I literally stopped like during like the middle of a chapter because I was so tired last night I just kept reading and reading until I got tired and this book is pretty good so far i really like spensa i like how brandon sanderson gave her such uh you know unique personality than i feel like you normally get with a protagonist in a book i like how her flaws are very prominent like she has anger issues but it's like understandable why she has them and she's just like a very weird girl. Like she's very into her stories, very extra dramatic and just like overall one of the typical weird kids in school. And I love that. Like I like, I like her weirdness. It's very different than the usual when it comes to at least books I read. Like her personality is very distinct and I like that a lot. And so yeah, I enjoy her as a protagonist and I enjoy being in her head also am enjoying the story the story is good honestly i know like in this book jerk face or like jorgen i know he's like he's like he's very much a jerk but i just kind of sense that like you know he's just one of those characters you're supposed to hate in the beginning and then he grows on you and you start understanding him more 
that's why like yes he would annoy me a little bit and like him getting on spencer and stuff i'm just like sir please but i don't know it's just like i don't hate him because i can sense that he's not gonna be a character i'm gonna hate for long so it's just like he was just like an annoying little character but i sense that they're gonna become friends later on hi so it is it is literally days later and i totally forgot i was filming a video for like skyward and stuff and so i finished skyward days ago and i'm like on to a new not necessarily a new book but my next read i'm like over 100 pages into that and i totally forgot i was filming this video so i rated skyward four stars it was a very solid book very interesting sci-fi and i'm not gonna really spoil anything because i i don't want it to be like a spoiler filled video for those who haven't read skyward but when i tell you like jorg okay what i said before in the last clip about jorgen i stand corrected he's cool to be honest you cool you cute you cool um yeah he's he's good love him Mbot, when I tell you Mbot is literally a AI boy version of Spencer, literally, literally. Um, and I love like the whole rig Mbot and Spencer dynamic. I find it funny. Um, it's so funny because reading Skyward, it's like I didn't have outward. I didn't have a lot of outward reactions reading it. All my reactions were e internal. So like if some if I thought something was funny, like I didn't outwardly laugh like I would other books, I inwardly laughed or like um, if like something supposedly shocking happens, I didn't like, oh, I would just be like, oh, wow, like in my head, um, which I didn't know how to really take that because usually like, like I'm very like, ooh, oh my God, <gasps> like if it's, you know. So I don't know how to really take that, but it was like a solid read. It was four stars. I enjoyed it. And I was close to buying the second book yesterday, but I decided not to and just get one book because my my collection is just ever growing and I need, I need, I need to put a pause on the books I buy, seriously. So anyways, um, what else? That ending, the ending was so good. Love the ending. Can't wait for book two for real. I don't know when I'm gonna get to book two because there's so many. It's like I, in my head, I have this like immediate TBR of all the books I want to read like as soon as I can. And so that's definitely on there, but I just don't know in which order I'm gonna read these books. And so I'm just like, because Skyward is a trilogy, I think. And so it's just like, if I read the second book, then I'm going to read the third book probably. And then I'm going to have to put off other books that I've been waiting for. And I don't know. It's like so hard because I can't read so many at once. And I know some people like read three books at the same time, but that I'm not that person. Like I can't do that. Then I'm going to get into a reading slump because it feels like I'm not making any progress at all. So it's like, I need to read. I can read two books at a time, but they got to be different genres. And all the books I want to read except for one are like in the similar genres fantasy sci-fi but anyways yeah skyward was really good um that ending was good loved it i loved like seeing the krell and stuff and like getting that like that being expanded more in the ending and um like getting answers i love how we got answers in the first book we didn't get now all the answers maybe but we got like a lot of them and I enjoyed that and I was thinking to myself I was like when I finish this series I feel like this is gonna make me rewatch the 100 I really do because this book reminds me of the 100 it truly does and it's not like the plot but it's the vibes the vibes give the 100 and so if you like that show and have not read Skyward you should but yeah that's really it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys like comment and subscribe check out my main channel i post vlogs there um that's more than reading and yeah comment down below anything you want and i'll see you in the next one